in Afghanistan, the Taliban say they're now in full control of the entire country after seizing the Panjshir Valley in the last uh, area of armed resistance. Uh, the Taliban have released a video of their flag being raised in the centre of the provincial capital. Uh, the leader of the resistance fighters has called for a national uprising against the Taliban. Our chief international correspondent, Lise Doucet, uh, has sent this report. A white flag of victory, the Taliban flag, the centre of the scenic Panjshir Valley. This last redoubt of armed opposition, now claimed by the Taliban. God is great, their fighters cry. In Kabul today, the Taliban spokesman had a message for the enemy. We have captured Panjshir with the will of God. We are telling those people who still want to fight. If they want a normal life, they are welcome in Afghanistan, their home. But they need to stop fueling instability. A defiant reply on social media. 32-year-old Commander Ahmed Massoud vows to continue the resistance. He says his men are still in Panjshir Valley and urges Afghans to rise up. The Taliban are getting on with the business of being in charge. This is the first visit by the UN's humanitarian chief, Martin Griffiths. He also stopped by here earlier today, a tented camp in a cobble park. Thousands displaced by fighting in northern provinces when the Taliban advanced towards Kabul. Displacement, drought, hunger. Afghanistan was confronting a major humanitarian crisis even before the Taliban took power. Now the needs of this nation pose an urgent test for the international community and the Taliban. Shafika tells me she lost her husband in this war. Now she worries the Taliban won't let her work to support four children. What should we eat? What should we do? At Kabul airport before he left, Mr. Griffiths told us he stressed the rights of women in his talks here. The international community needs to know that there is a genuine will on the part of the authorities to adhere to these principles, to understand them and to learn about them over time. I've heard good words here, but none of us uh, believe only in the value of words. Many now wait to see what the Taliban will do. Aid agencies, allies, most of all Afghans. The first step? forming a government to start moving forward. Lise Tusset, BBC News, Kabul.